Welcome to our channel, love is everything. Hey guys, welcome back to another Happy For Us video. So today, I am coming at you with telling you that I am having gallbladder surgery. I know I made an announcement before, um, and I kind of wanted to focus on a video to talk about like post-op stuff, so that way if there's anybody else that is having gallbladder surgery, they kind of have an idea of what's going on and how I am actually prepping for gallbladder surgery. It's tomorrow. I'm not too happy. I don't think anybody is. Major, major anxiety. So, to give you guys a little bit of story of how this all happened, about 10 years ago, they did a CAT scan on me for pains, not for that specific area, and um, they couldn't find anything except gallstones, and because it wasn't in that area, they weren't really too concerned about it, and they kind of like brushed it off to the side. As the years progressed, I kept having pain. Um, when you like would turn, let's say, real fast, I would feel like a sharp pain, and then it would go away. So I said to myself, it's no big deal, right guys? You know, it's no big deal, that's life. Oh man. So um, back in September now, what happened was I started having real attacks. And the first time, I can tell you, it was at like 12 o'clock, I just woke up and I was like, ow, ow. But it wasn't enough to make me run to the hospital. I know a lot of people like run. I didn't really need to run. Um, it was like a five pain. So I just told myself, eh, no big deal. We got this. Everything's going to be fine. You know, we'll get through it. So after so many attacks, um, I realized something's not right, but the situation I was in was my poor mother had broken her foot and the first surgery was in July. The second surgery was in October and she really needed me to help her recover because she couldn't do anything really. So I couldn't run for myself. I had to, you know, I'm a selfless person. I had to take care of my mom first. So I kept pushing myself through until November. I saw my family doctor, my family doctor. I didn't mention anything to him. I know I should have then, but I told myself, let him do the blood work, see what's up there. And if there's anything, then we'll go from there. Oh my God. So he comes back and says, you have cholesterol. Cholesterol? What's this? I'm only 43, like, you know? And they turned around and said, no, well, you have cholesterol, so, um, yeah, that's that. So I said, okay, now we start something new. Let's just go with it, right, guys? Just go with it. So, um, after that, um, I turned around and said, you know what? Okay, so I have cholesterol now. Obviously, I don't want to tell the family doctor that I'm in pain because I know he's my family doctor, but I feel like he's going to charge me a fortune and do all these tests that he might not need to do. And there's a story to that, so you're going to hear what happened. So um, I didn't uh, tell him, and I made an appointment with the gastroenterologist. But from November until January was the first appointment, so I had to suffer through even more, and it was hard, guys. There were bad nights, good nights. I became gluten-free, dairy-free, vegan-free, you name it, whatever I could do to try and stop that level 5 pain. Um, pretty much did the same, except one night it went up a little bit more because I got a Costco steak and learned my lesson fast. That's when I became vegan, literally for the time being, because I realized high fats, and that's something right there you need to know. Anything high fat will, most likely will trigger your gallbladder attacks. Um, so I learned as I went, and I stopped doing um, high fat meals. Okay, so after all that, saw the doctor, everything went good. The gastro did a colonoscopy, the endoscopy. I mean. Literally every test that they could, I could imagine right now has been done to me. Um, so they did all that, and I'm like, ah, eh, no big deal. Uh, and then he did an ultrasound, and the ultrasound found the gallstones. Again, so they never disappeared. He sent me to the surgeon, and the surgeon set up this uh, appointment. So um, I went to talk to her and asked her tons of questions. And that's the point where you should just ask everything you have to say that you're thinking of for that you know, because it's for you. Like, remember, don't hide yourself and say, I don't want to ask any questions. Ask all the questions that you feel like you need to ask them, medical history, whatever it takes. Um, for me, luckily, there wasn't that much because I don't have a lot of medical history other than my cholesterol. But my mother and my father obviously do, so I mentioned all that. Um, so that made it a lot easier for me. From there, she sent me to 
pre-administration. Now you need to do that too, make an appointment for pre-administration. And what they do there is they do your labs, they do um, EKG if you need it, ultrasounds, whatever tests that you need, you're gonna be getting done there. Um, for me, I just needed lab work. But it was funny because I asked if I needed medical clearance and that's another thing you guys need to know if you need medical clearance you know, make sure you ask the surgeon so that way you don't have to worry, you know, from your family doctor as well. Well, I didn't need to um, medical clearance at all, but I did have an appointment because of my cholesterol. So I went back to the doctor and I'm like, oh, you know, I, I need to like tell you I'm having surgery. So he's like, oh, well, we're going to fill out paperwork. And I'm like, oh, no, where is this going now? So next thing you know, he does an EKG on me. And the other doctor didn't even want an EKG, but he wanted an EKG. So then he wanted to draw labs too, and I turned him and said, okay sure I'll go get them done in two weeks but the funny thing is, is that I kept getting billed for lab work and it was like three hundred and sixty dollars and I'm like listen I'm not paying three hundred and sixty dollars twice for lab work I, I'm not like no way so I went to the pre-administration got it done there and just said we're good that's it lab work's done I'm not worrying about that and then the COVID test guys ah COVID test oh my gosh like, I get it, but it, it has hurt. It hurt. I don't I don't know what anybody else feels like with that, if they've had it done, but I had it done, and it hurt. So I don't ever want it done again. <laughs> Hopefully not. Um, the other thing is, I did ask my surgeon if I should get the COVID vaccine, and I did get it. And guys, I got Johnson. Ugh. Johnson. Oh my gosh. Yes, I know. But I was three weeks in, and I'm, I'm fine. I'm 7 million, you know? Come on. So... I'm totally good with it. It's all good. Okay, so all that got taken care of, and then I just wanted to pretty much go over what you probably should have on hand before surgery for anybody that is having the same situation that I'm in. I'm going to show you some stuff that I plan on using uh, during my recovery. So first and foremost, if I don't need pain medicine and I'm okay with it, I'm just going to go with Tylenol, but rapid release the best works so good um if i have gas issues i'm going to go with gas x because that works really well um if i have like you know <laughs> let's not just say it but if i have that issue this way dolcolax um there is a product called miralax it doesn't agree with me so i actually prefer using this instead um for acid indigestion i sometimes do take rollades but anything with mint actually will help uh, your stomach. So if you need mint, definitely, definitely um, try mint. Peppermint tea works great. This is another product, um, Nauzine. It's used for upset stomach as well. So I have a backup in case if that one doesn't work. And the last thing is because they're doing that tube down your throat, the gas into you and everything, this is going to be for like sore throat um, to help me get through that part because I know my throat's going to be really sore. So the other thing I plan on doing is lots of liquids, um, apple juice, cranberry juice, water. I'm going to, I actually drink a little bit of Gatorade. My surgery's tomorrow. This is one of a couple of videos I'm going to make. I'm not going to make the whole channel about this, but I do want to talk to other people who had gallbladder um, removal. I'm doing it lap laparoscopic and, you know, it's all good. I can handle this. I think I'm a champion. So apple juice, water, um, Gatorade, applesauce, pudding, um, yogurt, probiotic, better for you. Uh, trying to think what else I plan on using with that. Uh, fruits, a lot of fruits because I know they're safer. I'm going to do a low fat diet. Um, I don't know if you guys know the shred diet, but that is an amazing diet. Uh, it's the right kind of diet. It's five small meals and a couple snacks and I'm going to take it very light. I don't want to like overdo my stomach so I'm definitely going to work as safe as possible. And chicken soup. Uh, Lipton's chicken soup and some fruit cups and crackers. All safe stuff. The other thing I have is a heating pad. Um, if anyone's interested in the comment down below, comment and I'll link up all the places I bought all these items from to help anybody else who needs to purchase this stuff. But all in all, I don't think it's going to be that bad. Uh, two, three days maybe. We'll see. Hopefully, right? Right? Never had surgery like this before, so it's it's all new to me. But uh, I'm 
keeping positive. I'm keeping positive because I think I can do this. I'm a champion. Like, I I'm somebody that bounces back pretty quick, usually from things. So hopefully it won't be as bad as it seems. Um, so, uh, yeah. So you're going to see this video now, guys. And then you'll see a video with, like, seven days each day, how I felt. So to give you a full week of how my recovery is going. And then I'll probably do like a month video update to show you guys what it's like a month after. So that way if there's anybody else going through this, and I know there's got to be a lot of people, we can all talk and share information and help each other out because it is kind of like, you know, it's something that you, it's uncharted waters is what I would call it, you know. So, um, but I'm staying positive. It, you know, I have to be there like super early, six in the morning. I was like, what? Like, I'm not diabetic. Why am I like the first patient? This doctor must really love me because she made me her first patient. She really wants to cut me open, you know? So, <laughs> I don't know. But it is what it is. Okay, guys. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching all the time and supporting us. I promise I'm going to get to comments as much as I can now. I'll be home for the next two weeks to like really, you know, get into the channel a little bit, which makes me really happy because it'll give me something to smile about. Um, yeah, so I love you guys. I hope everybody's having a safe um, week. And remember, guys, love is everything. We'll see you in our next video. Bye, guys.